Tonight, a dire new threat facing Florida in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Floodwaters pushing levees to their breaking points. Even though they're a couple hundred miles away from the initial impact of the of the storm and the storm surge, just to had a lot of water, but some of the rivers and inlets overflowing, so it's creating a lot of problems really all across the state. A levee near the Miyaka River was compromised this afternoon. Hundreds forced to flee. In Arcadia, Florida, the water is still waist deep. Entire homes submerged, a community laid to waste. NBC's Jesse Kirsch is just 50 miles inland. We are now more than two full days since Ian made landfall in the United States. And look at this road. I do not know where it's dry on the other side. Across the state, a race against the clock to save thousands still stranded. More than one million are without power. The death toll exploding. At least 77 now dead from the worst storm to batter the state in decades. Oh! At least 35 of them in Lee County alone. This mobile home community in Main Street, Fort Myers Beach, the heartbeat of the city. It looks like a, a bomb went off. Look at that. That shrimp boat came in, took out that yacht, and they came in and just came right through this community. The level of devastation, the level of destruction is massive. Terry Wetzel lost almost everything, getting out with only a handful of his items. I mean, I've been through wars. I'm a 100% I'm a disabled veteran. And I've seen a lot, but I ain't never seen nothing like this. I, I'm just, thank God to wear a lot. On the East Coast, a rogue wave jumped a sidewalk at Miami Beach, injuring six. Five people into the wave. From the skies, the scope of Ian's destruction on full display. Homes seen here on the coast totally flattened by a more than seven foot storm surge in Fort Myers Beach. The Sanibel Causeway seen here before the hurricane collapsed during the storm, cutting off the only road to the mainland. As a nationwide effort to rebuild gets underway, even neighbors pitching in, like this mother and daughter coming to Fort Myers Beach to give back. We're healthy, we're alive, we have a home, we have food. There are some who lost it all. Ian now setting its eyes on the northeast. The weekend storm putting 7 million under coastal flood alerts heading into next week. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.